right, y'all. How about a milkshake? Found a recipe about a year ago-ish. Been saving it, meaning to make it, haven't done it. Today's the day. Let's do it. Bourbon, ice cream, peanut butter. I mean, it sounds perfect, right? So let's do it. All right, y'all. So this is how we started. We started with bourbon. So I'm going to use some JW Dan. Um, the reason why I'm using this is a couple reasons. One, it's inexpensive. Two, I like it. And three, I really get a lot of peanut butter flavor out of this one. I feel like it's a peanut butter bomb, you know? So this is what I'm using. You use whatever you want. Um, whatever your favorite bourbon is. And here's the thing. Just like wine, if you wouldn't drink it, <laughs> you're not going to eat it. But I'm going to go ahead and use the JW Dent, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to start off two ounces of bourbon right in the blender. Oh, that wasn't the bourbon. That was the... All right, well, that was not bourbon. That was maple syrup. So half ounce of maple syrup. That's what we'll start with this time. Half ounce of maple syrup. <laughs> Two ounces of bourbon. Look, man, that's probably just good like it is, huh? Probably not. It says a cup of ice cubes. I don't know. It's a cup of ice cubes. Then it says for a cup of ice cream. So that's what we're going to do, put in a cup of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I'm going to use Bluebell because it's the best ice cream in the world. If you disagree, that's fine. Use whatever you want. It's okay. I just like Bluebell. So we're going to put a cup of Bluebell homemade vanilla. I mean, that's the name of it. I don't, I didn't home make it. Bluebell Vanilla Ice Cream. Push that down in the blender. That's one cup of ice cream, one cup of ice cubes, two ounces of bourbon, and a half ounce of maple syrup. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of crunchy peanut butter. This is just a store brand. It ain't nothing special, but crunchy peanut butter. There we go. All right, what do you think of this so far? Two ounces of bourbon, half ounce of pure maple syrup, two cups of ice, two cups of ice cream, quarter cup of crunchy peanut butter. Oh, you know what? It helps if you plug the blender in. It will help. All right, here we go. All right. Got a, some peanut butter sticking to the side. Go ahead and push this down in there. Make sure it's in there. Finish this up real quick. All right, that sounds good to me, right? Let's get a glass. And pour it in. Oh man, look at that. Delicious looking. All right, let's go have a taste. Right, let's have a taste. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I wish I wouldn't have started off this video telling you I found this recipe online. Maybe I should've just told you it was mine. I can definitely taste the bourbon 
I used a, I used a hundred proof bourbon. I can feel a little bit, you know, I get a little bit of, um, it's not like I'm drinking a shot of bourbon. But I can tell it's there. I taste it. Man, this is, this is my new favorite drink. For dessert. This is delicious. Mm. All right, y'all. Peanut butter bourbon milkshake. I just showed you how to make it. it. Took a whole couple seconds. One cup of vanilla ice cream. One cup of ice cubes. Half cup of crunchy peanut butter. Two ounces of bourbon. And a quarter ounce of maple syrup. And you know what? If you don't have real maple syrup and you want to use a pancake syrup, it would probably work. Substitute anything and everything that you feel you need to. But, oh, this is awesome. All right, y'all. We'll see you.